Hi there, I'm Sam from solar.com and today we're gonna to talk about the benefits of battery storage in the great state of New York. Roll it. Home batteries are often seen as a novelty reserved for your tech savvy neighbor with too much cash to burn. But today with energy prices rising, Home batteries are a means to energy cost savings, battery backup power, and energy independence. So today we're gonna to go through those three benefits and we'll also talk about some incentives that can help reduce the cost of buying battery storage. So let's dive right in with our first reason to buy battery storage in New York, energy cost savings. I know it sounds counterintuitive to buy a $10,000 battery in order to save money on energy, but thanks to New York's skyrocketing energy prices and the availability of time of use rates, there's actually two ways to save money on energy costs using home battery storage. First, thanks to New York's generous solar incentives, which we covered in depth in this video, uh, powering your home with solar and battery is simply less expensive than staying with grid energy. All right, now that's a pretty big claim, so let's crunch some numbers. Let's say you buy a five kilowatt solar system for $25,000 and a 10 kilowatt hour battery for $10,000. Now between federal and state incentives in New York, you can bring the net cost of that system down to $20,000. And if you take out a 20 year solar loan, with the interest, it comes to around $30,000. Now let's compare that with staying on the grid for the next 20 years. With, uh, with an average of 3% rate increases per year, your all-in costs for electricity come to $38,000. So either way, whether you pay cash or you take out a loan for your solar and battery system, you'll end up paying less for electricity than you would if you just stuck with your utility. And there's a great, rate, great way to measure this called levelized cost of energy. So let's say you need 120,000 kilowatt hours of electricity over the next 20 years, and you're going to pay for it one way or another. If you buy that electricity through a utility, you'll end up paying around 31 cents per kilowatt hour. Now, if you buy a solar and battery system with a 20 year loan, you can drop that rate to 25 cents per kilowatt hour. And if you buy a solar system, solar and battery system with cash, that rate comes down to 17 cents per kilowatt hour for 20 years. So solar and battery have a reputation for being expensive, but given New York's electricity prices, they're actually much more affordable than paying for electricity through utility. And there's two incentives, at least two incentives in New York that can help the reduce, reduce the cost of battery storage. First is the residential clean energy credit that's available through the federal, federal government and it's worth 30% of the cost of your solar and or battery system. Thanks to the Inflation Reduction Act, that credit now applies to battery, standalone battery storage that's not connected to a solar system. So that 30% credit on a $10,000 battery is worth $3,000, effectively reducing the price to $7,000. Now the second incentive is the PSEG Long Island Battery Rewards Program. Now through this, uh, Long Islanders with solar and battery can actually get paid to discharge their battery storage during certain high demand events in the summer to help keep the grid afloat and help everyone power their ACs. Now the exact incentive rates for uh, the electricity you push onto the grid vary based on, your, uh, the, based on your equipment. So I can't go too much further into detail here, but if you are on Long Island, it's a great program to look into to help reduce the cost of your battery storage. Now let's say you live in a place with lots of shade, as many New Yorkers do, and slapping solar panels on your roof just doesn't make sense. That's okay, there's still a way to reduce your energy costs using battery storage alone. And the world needs battery storage just as bad as it needs solar panels. So here's how it works. Now many utilities in New York, including Con Edison, National Grid, Orange and Rockland, uh, Central Valley Hudson, offer time of use rates plans. Now in time of use rates plans, your energy, the price of electricity varies throughout the day, uh, basically based on demand. So during peak hours, you're gonna pay one price and during peak off peak hours, you pay a different price for electricity. For example, here's a look at the structure of Con Edison's time of use rates plan. In the summer, during off peak hours, the rate for electricity delivery is 1.8 cents per kilowatt hour. And then during peak hours, it jumps to 25 and a half cents per kilowatt hour. 
The Con Edison time use plan also includes super peak hours between 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. on weekdays between June 1st and September 30th. Now these might as well be called super duper secret peak hours because I haven't been able to get anyone to tell me what exactly the price is. Uh, but on its website, Con Edison does mention that during super peak hours, electricity will be substantially more expensive than during peak and off peak rates. Now time of use rate plans are optional and they may not make sense for an average household that's cooking dinner and doing laundry and cranking the AC during peak and super peak hours. But with battery storage, you can soak up cheap electricity from the grid during off peak hours and use it to offset the cost of more expensive electricity during peak and super peak hours. And this strategy is called load shifting and it can help reduce your electricity bill and cut into the cost of buying battery storage. So let's say you have a 10 kilowatt hour battery and you set it to charge with nine kilowatt hours of off peak during off peak hours and discharge nine kilowatt hours during peak and super peak hours every day for a year. Now, given the Con Edison time use rate plan, you could save $330 in the summer months alone and another $200 during the off season for a total of $530 per year. Now, over the life of that battery, that adds up to thousands of dollars in energy cost savings. And although the battery probably won't pay for itself with uh, load shifting alone, it can really take a chunk out of the cost and help justify the biggest reason that people want battery storage, which is backup power. So thanks to a combination of extreme weather, fuel supply emergencies, and well, squirrels, New York ranked in the top 10 for both the number and the duration of power outages in 2020. In fact, it ranked in the top five for duration of power outages, even ahead of California. So with both frequent and long lasting power outages, New Yorkers stand to gain quite a bit from having backup power for their refrigerator, hot water heater, lights, Wi-Fi, And during the winter, having battery backup to kick on your gas furnace can really be a game changer. And it's important to note that during power outages, if you have solar only, your system is likely gonna shut off. And that's a safety feature that utilities do so you don't accidentally export energy on the grid while repair workers are trying to repair it. So battery storage is crucial to having backup power during outages. And it's even better when it's paired with solar panels. In fact, the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory found that a small solar system paired with 10 kilowatt hours a battery storage can power the essential needs for most homes for at least three days. Now, the other thing to consider is that power outages have increased 80% over the last 20 years, and they're expected to be more frequent as time goes on. But with a little planning, New Yorkers can use solar and battery to stay safe, productive, and contribute to a more resilient energy grid. And that brings us to our third benefit of battery storage in New York, energy independence. Now, energy independence has kind of become this buzzword that means a few things depending who you ask. So let me give you a definition based on the context of solar and battery storage. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, electricity is an essential cost that you're gonna pay throughout your life no matter what. And most people do that through utility. And through your utility, you have no control over how much your electricity costs, where it comes from, and what your money goes to, what your uh, monthly bill payments are funding, basically. Now, if you use solar and battery storage, you can entirely flip that script. You control the production, you control transmission, you control storage, and you control consumption. And by tweaking how big your system is, uh, how you pay for it, you can control the cost of your own electricity. Now, to me, energy independence isn't so much about getting off grid and going and living in the hills somewhere, although you can do that with solar and battery. Uh, it's more about taking back control of your essential electricity costs, and solar and battery allow you to do that. If you'd like to learn more about solar and battery storage in New York, uh, use the link in the description of below, below to visit the solar.com learning center. Better yet, connect with one of our energy advisors to compare quotes from vetted installers in your area. I'm Sam from solar.com. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.